The Ukrainian army is conducting historic operations to liberate Russian-occupied territories. According to the data shared by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, 740 soldiers have died in the Russian army in the last 24 hours. Russia is experiencing the most difficult days in history. How did the Russian army suffer such a defeat in such a short period of time? What is the reason for the defeat of the Russian army? In which regions does the Ukrainian army have the upper hand? Let's answer these questions one by one. First of all, it should be noted that the Ukrainian army has clearly gained the upper hand in this war. The Ukrainian army has managed to liberate more than half of the territories occupied by Russia. Russia is losing control over more and more territories. The Ukrainian army continues to strike Russia's bases using HIMARS. A military barracks in the Russian-occupied city of Melitopol was destroyed by the Ukrainian army. According to the Ukrainian army, more than 200 Russian soldiers lost their lives in this operation. According to reports in the British press, Russian forces were using a hotel in Melitopol as a barracks. The HIMARS used by Ukraine managed to completely destroy this hotel too. The Russian army cannot find a place to stay in the occupied territories. Russian soldiers are experiencing great fear. Many of the soldiers in Melitopol started to flee from the hotels where they were staying. Some of the Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian army, while others are trying to hide in the homes of local residents. The city of Melitopol in Zaporizhia Oblast is of great strategic importance. If the Ukrainian army manages to liberate Melitopol, it will get closer to the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. This could completely change the course of the war. The Russian military is massing troops around the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. This plant, one of the largest nuclear power plants in Europe, is being used by the Russian military for a nuclear threat. The Ukrainian army does not bomb this area remotely to prevent damage to the nuclear power plant. That's why Russia is building up a military buildup around the plant. However, the Ukrainian army is getting closer to this base every day. If the Ukrainian army manages to end the Russian occupation of this power plant, the Russian army will suffer a huge loss. Russia's losses are increasing day by day. Having established superiority in Melitopol, the Ukrainian army continues to carry out very important operations in other regions. Bakhmut is one of the areas where clashes are intensifying. The Russian army is making a great effort to occupy this town in Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast. However, the Ukrainian army does not allow Russia to occupy this town. The International Institute for the Study of War has been publishing striking reports on the conflict in this region. According to these reports, Russia is suffering huge losses here. Russia made one of its biggest mistakes since the beginning of the war by trying to invade this area. Bakhmut has been one of the most damaged areas for the Russian army. Having retreated on all fronts, the Russian army launched an offensive to win the war in one region. By occupying this region, Russia was planning to make more intense propaganda against its own people. But the Ukrainian army is disrupting this plan of Putin. By following very important strategies in this region, the Ukrainian army manages to repel Russia's attacks. Another explosion in this war took place at a base for Russian army mercenaries. Soldiers of the Wagner Group, Russia's mercenary company, are staying in hotels in the occupied territories. The mercenaries staying in a hotel in the city of Kadivka in the Luhansk region suffered heavy damage in the face of an attack by the Ukrainian army. Luhansk governor Sergei Aidai said that the hotel was hit by Ukrainian forces and the elite soldiers of the group suffered huge losses. According to the governor, half of the soldiers in the hotel died as a result of this attack. The soldiers of the Wagner group are considered one of the most important forces in the Russian army. These mercenaries are notorious for their war crimes in all wars. Wagner mercenaries were planning to kill many soldiers in Ukraine. But the Ukrainian army put the Wagner mercenaries in their place. Thanks to the brave operations of the Ukrainian army, the Wagner mercenaries did not gain any advantage. Soldiers of the Wagner group are experiencing great fear in Ukraine. Some of these soldiers reportedly want to resign. One of the mercenaries of this group tried to escape from the war. While escaping, he clashed with the Russian army. 
As a result of the mercenaries' escape, there was a major crisis in Russia. The conflict between the Kremlin and the Wagner Group in Russia started to increase. In this process, soldiers belonging to the Wagner Group found the rebel soldier and executed him. Images of the soldier killed by hitting his head with a sledgehammer were shared. The Russian government did nothing about the execution of this soldier. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner Group and a close friend of Putin, made a very interesting statement about this video. I hope no animals were harmed during the filming, Prigozhin said. After Prigozhin's cruel statement, anti-war activists in Russia were outraged. There was a major dispute between the Kremlin and the Wagner Group in Russia. Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner Group, is one of the most popular people in Russia. It is claimed that there is a disagreement between Prigozhin, known as Putin's chief, and Putin. These disagreements could cause a major split in Russia. As a result of Ukraine's successes, disagreements between politicians in Russia are growing. There are also many disagreements within the Russian army. Most Russian commanders have long been proposing a retreat in this form. Putin's government insisted on not accepting any of these proposals. However, as a result of Ukraine's great successes, Russia was forced to withdraw from the Kherson region. Kherson, the largest regional capital occupied by Russia in Ukraine, became one of the turning points of the war. The Russian army has been forced to retreat in other areas as well. Russia's retreat in this war is increasing every day. The Russian army, which has lost a total of 96,000 soldiers, is forced to retreat to avoid further losses. Some forces of the Russian army are reportedly leaving their positions and heading to Crimea. Crimea, occupied by Russia in 2014, is one of the most critical points in this war. If the Ukrainian army succeeds in liberating Crimea, this war could be over for good. Russian leader Vladimir Putin is afraid of losing control over Crimea, because if the Russian occupation of Crimea ends, Putin will suffer a huge loss of face. Putin is not ready for this big defeat. The Russian army is digging trenches in many areas in Crimea. Preparations are being made for a big defense in this region. But the Ukrainian army is determined to liberate Crimea. Ukrainian leader Zelensky refers to Crimea as the place where Russia's occupation began. He often emphasizes that Crimea must be free when this war is over. If the war spreads to Crimea, the Russian army is expected to suffer much bigger losses. The Ukrainian army is doing everything in its power to liberate Crimea. What do you think about the operations of the Ukrainian army? Do you think Russia's defeat will continue? Do you think the Ukrainian army will be able to liberate Crimea? Do you think Putin's political career will be over if Crimea is liberated? Share your views with us. Follow us for more updates.